how to connect uh, AWS with S3 with uh, Salesforce Data Cloud. So as you can see, I'm in connector and I will create a new connector uh, that we will call uh, AWS Data Cloud Demo uh, 2. And we will use um, a secret key and an access key. Um, and then we will create a bucket. So the bucket will be created in AWS S3. So I've created an account and I will just create a new bucket that will contain um, a folder itself. So I click create bucket. And now I will be creating uh, a folder within it, create a folder. So we will call it data cloud ingestion file two. I create my folder and now I will upload uh, a file from my computer. So this will be a CSV file of the contact that um, that I have in my uh, system. Let's say I want to import that into Data Cloud, uh, but it could be also a backup or anything like this. So my bucket is ready here. Now I will go into um, the uh, identity and access management in AWS. So it's called um, uh, it's called uh, I am and I will create the data cloud uh, integration user too. Uh, and here, what I will do is I will click next and I will create the user. Okay, now that I've created the user, I will need to give some uh, permission. So what we will do is we will go in inline policy and I will select uh, S3. And now I will go into the documentation of Salesforce and I will give the following permission. So get bucket location, get object, list bucket, delete object, get bucket location, already done, this bucket put object, okay. So now that I've added this permission, I can click next. And specific resource for the selected action. Here, I will just say uh, all resource. Okay. Policy name. So we already have one, but uh, we will call it data cloud, data cloud policy two. Okay. So now that we have our policy created, we just need to create it. And here I can click create access key and click other. Tag. Uh, I can add a tag. Okay, I have my access key ready. So here I can add this in AWS access key. The secret key can be added here. And now I will also select my bucket. So AWS Data Cloud 2 demo 2. And the parent directory will be Data Cloud ingestion file 2. Okay. So that uh, I can directly see what is uh, available with the CSV file that we uploaded. So the connection, connection is established. I can click save. Now I will go back uh, and create a new data stream. As you can see, I have M Amazon S3. The connection will be demo two. Yep. Import from directory. So um, like we are already in the parent directory. 
Um, now I will just take the file name, so contact Arthur.csv. Yeah. I click next. Um, I will say that it's a new data lake object. The name of the data lake object will be the name of my bucket. Uh, here I will define the pro the, um, the the data lake object category type. So this will be profile because it's about people. Primary key I will use an email address. Um, and after I can put an organization unit uh, identifier. I don't need that. I can click next. And, oh, and as you can see, that's the field from my CSV file already that the system recognized. I put it into um, um, we will call the data stream IWS S3 uh, bucket import. The data space will be default and we will keep adding data as soon as it's refreshed. Here, everything seems to be correct and I can click deploy. And now the new data stream will be created. And this data stream, as you can see, is processing. So like the data will be imported, it will take a while. And I can also map the header column from the CSV file that, here, that is located into uh, AWS S3, Amazon S3. I can map that into um, a data model object uh, that is available within Data Cloud. So, for example, uh, it would be um, email contact uh, em contact point email. So this one is the Data Cloud object that we usually use for um, like email capturing email about a user. Ah, it didn't select it. So we will select it and then we will do the mapping. So it's taking a while. Email, contact point. Okay. If I do that, ah, so here I click down, and here, as you can see, the system already map email address, and now I can put uh, other information. So, for example, uh, I could put uh, contact point email ID. So, I think we can put that here as well. Uh, company could be uh, something different, but for example, I, I can create, I can save that. And then I will create a new field, for example, just to show you uh, that will be called um, like first name. Like so, we can we can map at least the data from the CSV file to um, first to a data model object. Okay, perfect. I just created a new field onto my data model object. Um, contact point email, and then I can import that into. So I click first name here. So this is like the CSV file located in S3 that has been detected. And here, this is uh, one data model object that is part of my customer's 360 data model that is available in Data Cloud. So I can save that. And every time the file located in, in uh, AWS S3 is updated, then it will be directly mapped uh, to my data cloud uh, uh, data model object. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's an example. So here, like the data is not coming through because I guess it can take up to 24 hours um, for the first import. Once we got the first import, it, it, it should be on a 15 minute basis, but at least for now, you can see and understand the full end-to-end -end process. Um, so if you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.